He lost the co-caster. Okay, okay. PCs are melting in these long games. Are you getting the unburrow noise constantly? Yes. It's not that great. It sounds really disgusting. It's like a waterfall of sludge. Just take it in. One. And... Here we go. Oh man, I'm so glad that noise is finally gone. Storm's going down all the locusts. You know, you never really hear this phrase said, but man, the micro on Snoot's swarm host is incredible. It's pretty good. Oh, income. Titan Warping from the east, east right here. He finds a base. Oh my god, and he has 13 warp gates, so he can easily flood wherever he needs to. I mean, warp prisms, easily going to be able to, to, to pick off all the rightmost expansions, pylon at the top and leftmost, and we see these expos in the bottom left. I mean, Snoot has not even begun to scout down to bottom left. This is going badly right now for Norway at this point. Nice abduct, of course. Killing off Colossus is great, but he's going to do way more of that. And there's a lot of feedbacks coming in as well. Another Colossus falls. But Snoot is losing his economy. Yeah, and I mean, it, it can never be discounted the damage that that extra, uh, that energy suck does. The, the, the what the, the heck is it called? The Consume, I believe, yes, is the name of it. Yes, thank you. Yeah, he's, energy he's, gobble. Yeah, he's, posh, he's, so he's popping damage. all of his spore crawlers to do it. So he's, he's having to spend drones to build new ones. You know, spend all his transfuse to yeah. regain the energy. It's just the sort of odd cycling that is starting to become a little more costly. But man, I mean, there's swarm hosts back home. There's more swarm hosts coming in. I mean, Snoot has to suspect something at the left side. I think there is actually an opportunity, if we look at army supply, for things to go badly for the Protoss player. And more Archons being taken out here, because the Protoss army is actually quite small and high value. Only 105 army supply versus 172. Because, well, Titan's still mining, Snoot isn't. If he's, yeah. he, again, if he can crush this high tech army, this is what he's hoping for. If he can crush that high tech army, then he can win. But only if he manages that. And Titan's defense has been, the fact that he's managed to hold on for this long is insane. But he just lost a bunch, again, of high-value units. Yeah, I mean, he's losing Archons all over the place, and there's Broodlords being morphed by Snoop. Whoa, That's a cool there transition. is a bold play, yeah. It's nice, because Titan's not ready for this. He doesn't have a fleet beacon. He's been building nothing but ground units. If Broodlords come into play, there is nothing that he really has that can handle that. I mean, Snoot is, is keeping his efficiency through the roof. I mean, it's one of these w w weird things where... You start going for a super efficient army, and then your weakness is mobility. Yeah. And you can begin to try to spread it more thinly, have a smaller force at the front, and maybe add in roaches, add in lings. But what Snoot's saying is, no, I need to be even more efficient. I need to be even more slow, and a perfect transition coming out for Protoss. I mean, normally going Tempest and or Carriers is weak in this position, but there's just not enough expansions for Snoot to handle a huge air switch. That's true. However, I don't know if Titan's gonna get the chance to do that. Snoot, I think, realizes this is the time to strike. The Fleet Beacon is not done. Stargate production not available. And now he's pushing forward with both Vipers, Swarm Hosts, and Broodlords. That surely is enough to out... I mean, he is fighting against 13 Colossus and Archons here. Can Titan really break this? Oh gosh, I mean, the Colossus count, 13. I mean, that's just... That's just insane. And this little valley that all the Broodlords are parked over, that's such a beautiful move out of Snoot. He is playing so patiently. And all of a sudden, this this 13 Colossus army is cornered. It is. And it's taking a lot of damage. Well, I I'd say it's taking a lot of damage, but actually those Broodlords are so badly upgraded that the Colossus are barely taking any damage from them. But they are being driven back. The third base is now completely exposed, just as it completely mines out. So never mind. And Snoot is now pushing his way towards the fourth. I mean, if Snoot even just sent some lings over to the left place early and locked that down, this would be a final winning blow. But StarCraft is a game about economy. You have to not focus on the battles and crushing those. You have to both kill expansions and keep an eye on expansions. And look at this. Titan's just saying it's yours. Take, Take it. it. Yeah, he needs to buy time for his Tempests. It's as simple as that. If he doesn't get them, he's going to be in a world of trouble. There are nine Corruptors, which is kind of enough to fight that. 
Oh, wow. Titan's actually given Snoop the slip. He's moved his entire army around the swarm hosts, and I think he's actually going to go for a base trade. I mean, I think in this position, it's a very wise move. If he can go for a base trade, his opponent's corrupter count is at only nine. If he can get that count very low, I mean, and with no money in Snoot's bank, I mean, what, what can Snoot do? Not much. You know, once the corruptors go down, there'll be nothing to stop the Tempest from popping every single Broodlord and then slowly working their way through the swarm hosts. Swarm hosts for a base trade army when the swarm hosts are on the wrong side of the biggest map in the map pool. That is not a good unit to have in this scenario. Well, we're starting to see those Tempest head north, and I mean, this is a huge moment right now for Titan. He must kill off this base. He has to kill it off. On other maps, there's not the maneuverability to perform insane plays like what we're seeing Titan do, but on this map, it is huge enough. And now Titan's biggest question is, how does he defend his critical bottom left mining bases? That is true. The fourth base was killed. That's the only mining base here for Snoot. Snoot pulled back a good portion of his swarm hosts and has been able to engage here, but the Colossus count is that ridiculous that it doesn't really matter. The five Tempests are now on the map here. Titan is actually supply blocked and will most likely remain that way. This entire uh -oh. base is going to be sacrificed. Uh-oh. Oh, God. The most important part of the army, the Tempests. They're out of position. They're out of position. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. If, if Snoot can pick those off, Oh, he needs to go for them right now. He's actually managed he to find... Abduct. He's got to go for them. Oh, All right, abduct. he finds them and abduct. He takes down one Tempest. He's looking for the second one here. The Colossus are here, but what are they going to do? Keep in mind, Snoot has a lot of queens. So that means he can easily transfuse, keep it alive. And now we're seeing this Broodlord force down at the bottom side, a little vulnerable, a little bit exposed. Oh my God, is Snoot actually going to win this? It's looking like he might at this point. He has done massive production damage to Titan. He is killing key tech structures. He is limiting the options. Void Rays are coming out, which I like. I mean, if he had a larger Void Ray force earlier, then this would have been amazing. He would have been able to kill the Corruptors off and then the Broodlords, and, and they're also pretty good for killing everything else. But right now, I think that it could be too little too late. It depends. Can Titan continue to do damage? Can he continue to kill off bases? Well, I think this is a smart move for Snoot. He's decided, oh my god, I really gotta stop messing around. I have to pull my Broodlords to where they can be protected. And that Tempest Void Ray army just missed an opportunity to eliminate seven Broodlords. Yep. Another queen being produced, the most efficient army possible. Oh, Two more Tempests are about to go down. Uh, yeah, they're, they're gonna die. There's no way. I mean, there's nothing that can even protect them on the ground anyway. So that's quite a few Tempests lost already. Total three killed. They're pursuing the rest, but Corruptors are a little bit slow, so he can't catch up at this point. And with Void Rays on the way, it can be a bit risky to leave a small count of Corruptors out and expose like that. There is creep all over the map. It is actually in the main of Titan here. It has naturally got all the way over there. This entire side of the map is completely covered in creep. And that leaves the Protoss having now expanded to the other side, to the southwest... And now Snoot will try again to put the pressure oh, on. Oh, more Tempest gets snapped up. I mean, these, these are very, very big wins right now for Snoot. Snoot yeah. does need to, you know, hurry up and get gas at that expansion so we can begin to increase his Corruptor count from 10 to something that's actually terrifying. But he's been very, very efficient. The Swarm hosts have provided him more than enough comfort. 22,000 resources lost for Zerg, 53.2,000 lost for Protoss. Oh me, oh my. It's a ridiculous game. Absolutely ridiculous. I can't see how believe he's not getting gas, are. though. He, I think he needs to. He's thinking right now, and he's minerals. He doesn't. He's sitting on 2,000 bank, and he's got no gas. So he needs to think about that. But admittedly, he doesn't need gas if he isn't going to lose any units. So I guess that's well, his plan here. Yeah. I mean, literally never lose never lose units. What's, what's the big deal? Well, I mean, so, if you do have 34 swarm hosts and like 100 locusts on the field at any given time, it is possible. I mean, the funny thing is that Titan's actually starting to mine out the bottom left expansion that Snoot never engaged ever, so. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I mean, what do you do here as Snoot? It looks like he's just going to continue this push. He just says, you can't beat this. I need to add the last key bit to the puzzle, which are um, spore crawlers. So off he goes to add those. I think so. Titan is taking the top left expansion. Great move. Zealots continuing to move out. Zergling's also in production. 
Wow. Zerglings. Haven't seen those in the last 40 or so minutes. I mean... <laughs> I'd like to give a... I mean... <laughs> I don't even know. This is, you know, this is like Highlander 2. We're very slowly regressing in technology. We've got the highest tech units available, and then we mm -hmm. have stuff like Void Rays, and then eventually we get Lings again. Suddenly the telephone won't even be a technology that can be used in this universe. Jesus. I'm like, that's actually pretty accurate. That's like, okay, wait, wait a minute. Is it going to be an engagement? We're seeing the next round. Oh, He's going shoot. in. He got in just before the Locust Swarm came out and then stormed the entire thing. Very nice. Oh my god, there are six Void Rays. The Queens are Storm drop, storm drop, storm drop coming in right here from Titan. He's getting some hits in. There's a lot of Void Rays here though. Will Snoot actually lose this battle? Blinding Cloud comes down. This is ridiculously close. Well, it's all up to Air Force versus Air Force, and this is where Snoot needed those geysers. He's just now realized, oh my god, why did I not get those up earlier? And suddenly Snoot. No freaking way. Snoot's actually pushing this back. Well, he has. Now we have four Tempest. Tempest has got a gun. Transfuse. Nice. Very nice. And Tempest don't do much damage to Corruptors whatsoever. They gun down Broodlords very well. But the amount of losses Titan took in that engagement was astronomical. Huge numbers of Colossi went down. Huge numbers of Tempests were killed. Get another warp in here for Titan. He's certainly got, you know, he's got the money, but it comes down to time, really. He's going pure Void Ray. Pure Void Ray is a great choice because this is a 1v1v1v1v1 infinite money map and only Void Rays win those games. That's very true. Hashtag Bronze Logic. Once again, I, I don't think I've ever seen a Twilight Council covered in creep, but if you want to see it, it's on the screen right now. Like th This whole base is covered in creep. However, there are working production facilities down in the old natural. You know, I think one of the biggest keys is going to be the spore crawler count. There's 15 on the map right now, but they are very widely spread out. And I mm. think it's absolutely critical that those begin to join together. The void ray count is at it's at eight. And I mean, it's it, it's going to go up more, TB. Mm. Solid prediction there, Sean. Earning your pay, very much so. Well, hmm. How many more Void Rays will we see? Well, he's going to go up to 13. Okay. Oh, he's going to sell some freebies here, actually. Those... Uh, actually, no, maybe... No, no the Corruptors... Act, no, they can't fight this. No way. That's a, I keep forgetting. Those are Void Rays. Those are new Void Rays, not Wings of Liberty Void Rays. There's no way the Corruptors can fight that. Plus one yeah. air upgrade is coming in. I'm actually now really worried for Snoot. I think this Void Ray switch is going to catch him completely off guard. Yeah, I mean, there's no Infestors. We're going to see an almost immediate unburrow and retreat. Where are the Corruptors at? I mean, four Corruptors. Yuck. What I will say is there are no Observers, so killing off these Swarm Hosts could be difficult. Yeah. Consistently been the issue. Snoot has somehow decided that it's a good time to go in there. His answer is Queens. His Corruptor count is still very low. He's keeping the Queens at the front line, but there's no Locust. He's got to be so careful. The Transfuses have to be amazing. And no way are you kidding me. How are you did kidding you do me? that? Snoot. Snoot. What? Snoot. That was ridiculous. No way that many Void Ray should have lost there. But they did. The Queen support did the job. The Transfuses were excellent. And Snoot gets another spawn of Locusts. In the meantime, another Zealot run by kill, trying to kill his base. This base will never go up ever again. It's, it's 48 minutes into the game, and this potential third here, or even fourth, still has most of its minerals left, and a lot of its gas as well. Huh. Titan's still on four mining bases right now. Zealots coming in from the main. I wasn't even aware there was anything alive in the main to send Zealots. Apparently there is. Big wave comes in. Titan again falls below 200 supply. Wow. I mean, it looks like these Zealots are going to strike that uh, northern base at just the right time. Uh, I should say the eastern base. Snoot has been doing this all on almost nothing. Yeah. 71,000 to 27,000 resources lost. I mean, this is going to be very close, this Zealot run by. Oh, God, Snoot's got to be super cautious with that rallying that he's doing at that eastern base. And there it is. Oh, just as the Locusts leave. 
They're going in that general direction. Here it comes. That's the nice little run by there. It's going to do the damage. Absolutely, it will gut the mineral line. The locust finally spawned, but he's focusing it down. The hatchery is gone. No! Oh, the last swing. Oh literal last like his left hand struck it and he's not even left-handed and it fell oh my god 15 queens on the map can 15 queens eight corruptors and an endless volley of locusts is that enough to beat titan i mean snoot seems to think so this is possibly the worst map to go for swarm hosts on because of their immobility because the amount of space that is on this map, but nothing matters. This no. does, doesn't matter. Snoot has got to get aggressive. Wow, speed observers need him to try and get past those air defenses, but Snoot has got to kill Titan. He has no, well, I would say he has no money, but he's actually reestablished that fourth base yet again here. And he's, he's also found other bases from Titan. He knows where they are at this point. And he's forcing his way in and destroying units and destroying tech. But these swarm hosts are killing stuff too slowly, as weird as that sounds. Yeah, I mean, there's the huge push going up, and the swarm, uh, the, 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 the creep spread has been really instrumental for Snoot to be able to spot everything. I think it's time for Snoot to simply abandon the northernmost expansion, like, as quickly as possible. Yeah, there's a huge army coming towards it. I don't think holding that is necessarily going to be an option. Titan, for the first time in about 25 minutes, has a supply lead here. Snoot is not able to reinforce. Titan's building a carrier. I mean, huh. He's building a carrier. I mean, carriers are, I think, probably one of the better choices. They're amazing against Corruptors. They're even more amazing against Queens. I think it should have been the choice for carriers a long time ago. Tempest is what you would think is an intuitive choice because you're looking for range, but... They just don't I mean, do the say... damage on anything yeah. that's not a massive air unit. Yeah. So we're going to see possibly a secondary engagement. This is going to all be up to the transfuses from Snoot. Where is Queens? Where is Queens? They're, all right. they're, they're finally getting together. Storm comes down yet again on the Locust. Time Warp as well to keep them in place. So the Locust wave is gone. It's another few seconds before the next wave of Locust. Eight seconds before that next wave of Locust comes in. There's a pull on a couple of the Void Rays. The Queens bring down one in a second. However, the, the Protoss Army is right on top of the Swarm Hosts right now. Storm's uh -oh, coming uh -oh. underneath this as well. The Locusts pushing through. The Ground Army is gone, but there's 15 Void Rays. How good are Snoot's Transfusers? How good are they? Apparently, they're excellent. Snoot is holding the line against 15 oh void God. rays ridiculous he believe. kills the void rays he has the supply lead what he has the lead in supply <laughs> john bay he's what? got the lead in supply <laughs> <He's> <laughs> I... all right the game will continue as snoots transfuse micro oh two more void rays pulled in really nice maneuvers coming in right there and suddenly where's the defense for titan he has five void rays ten zealots and four tempest I don't believe it. This is, this is, I can't believe that this is a game right now. I mean, the bottom left, Titan is going to have mined out three sets of bases. Bottom right, bottom left, and soon enough, top left. I mean, a, another expansion falls, kind of. No, I guess not. No. The drone count is at 27. It's been at 14 for most of the game. Another I, Snoot, I guess, I think he's going to win. It. I think he's I got mean, it. He has secured two, three bases. Yeah. Now that he has complete control of the right side of the map, he's taken this base towards the center, which uh, normally you'd never take that in a million years, but he's taken it. He's mining from it with you know 31 drones, but he is mining it. He's getting gas. He's now pushing on these critical tech and production structures. They're going to die as well. Uh, what I'd love to see actually from Snoot is an effort to kill this production in the main, which he never killed. And he really yeah. could have... Yeah, I mean, that's tech structures. You know, that that's stuff you could valuably kill and force your opponent to waste gas on. I mean, I guess, I guess by empirical data, Snoot's probably got this one, I guess. I mean, I would theorize a Dark Shrine coming out. That was the problem that, that Titan had. He didn't have a Dark Shrine. Yeah, I mean, there's only about 50,000 Spore Crawlers on this map, so there's loads of possibilities for a Dark Shrine to work. 
Well, it looks like Expo after Expo is going to start to fall for Snoot. I think he might just gently reposition a lot of these key units. I mean... What on in the earth? It's hard to say. I mean, this really is a remarkably skillfully played game from Snoot. Mm. This is not merely sit passive, watch, I mean... No, because you can't do that in Altazim. At all. Yeah. That doesn't work. Countless times pulling back at the last second, getting in just the right spot at just the right time. I mean, burling, unburling, keeping his swarm host mobile, simply letting Titan take the bottom side of the map knowingly, so that way he can slowly rebuild a force of queens. I mean, this is just uncanny. 17 queens on the map, 21 swarm host snoot. Hilariously enough, is expanding to the top left. <laughs> Directly below the Protoss base. Oh Another my engagement. Gosh. Void Ray's coming in. Ooh, ooh. Gotta be careful. Gonna lose a swarm host of the two here. No, he isn't. Great transfusers coming in. And I think he's baiting. Oh, one of the Vipers pops. Those are full Vipers. He's gotta be extremely careful. Feedback is able to take that out. And Overseer falls as well. Snoot actually is below Titan Supply again. Loads of feedbacks coming in here. Will the Queens be able to do the job now? The Swarm host. Oh Most of them weren't God. borrowed here. Poles coming in, but the Queens are there. Do they have the energy to survive this? There's not that much transfused juice. I mean, like, all those Queens are very, very low energy, but nothing I say matters. Down go all the Void Rays. It's enough transfused. The Queen count being produced three at a time still remains high at 14. There's Queens in the high, or in the main and at the expansion that have yet to be transferred. The last mining expansion falls again for, uh, I mean, Snoot, I guess. Titan has built only Templar in the north base. Congratulations, 40,000 viewers get to witness an hour on Altazim Stronghold and still going strong here. I know, I mean... <laughs> this has been insane up to this point. I mean, I will say, it's... In certain ways, it's painful. Yes. But in other ways, this is just a magnificent, slow, steady play from Snoop. All the cannons deployed. The attack on Titan commences right here. Snoot is deploying creep. He's going to try and get it all the way up the ramp here. He has a base directly below for reinforcements. Happy has a pretty good point. Titan is about to pass 100,000 resources lost. <laughs> there Looks it is. Like... All right. Carry reeling it all in. We have the Brood Lords heading into the top. I mean, you got to feel for Titan here. You do. You absolutely do. You got to feel incredibly frustrated. Admittedly, this is the one map where this should not have worked. As you pointed out many times. Uh, and Titan had the right idea, but he couldn't finish the job. Oh my god. Oh my god, Snoot's going to win. <laughs> Dude, Snoot is so good. You know, for whatever you might say about the design of the game, tilting you because it could permit this to occur, I mean, I think that this was an exquisite display of skill from Snoot to have been able to pull that off. I mean, to he had to have executed those transfuses perfectly. Titan is tucked away in the corner. There's, there's really nothing that he can do here. Yeah. Titan was reliant on a big high-tech <laughs> army, and every time he loses that, oh replenishing it is now impossible. Oh my god, the Dark Shrine is gonna fall. Okay. <laughs> oh no, anything All but right. that. Wow. Dude, wow. Well, Void Rays are being built, but there's 19 Queens and 4 Void Rays. I did not see that working. Zealots oh, come in, man. the Spore Crawler is transfused. The Zealots driven back. <laughs> three, three. Poor, poor <laughs> Zealots are like, God damn it. What? I just want to kill a spore. This then isn't doing anything. And he has like eight queens transfusing one spore crawler. <laughs> Nothing even in that interaction flies. It makes no sense. <laughs> and yet there it is. Here comes oh, the value, Tempest. Ready to value. <laughs> They're protecting the, let's just say natural expansion of the Protoss player right now that is the opposite side of the map from where his first natural was. You know, Titan got married, had kids during this game, and he's explaining <laughs> to them, 
right now. <laughs> I remember a long time ago I had 13 Colossus. <laughs> <laughs> Titan isn't even playing this game. It's like Rogue Legacy. His next generation has carried on the play. <laughs> yeah, long after he died to Locusts. Now, now, long ago, there was this thing I was using called micromanagement. <laughs> <laughs> You <laughs> <laughs> this poor old man. Oh god. <laughs> you know, I think that what would what would be really cool is if the swarm host, you could choose to spawn locusts or drones. What do you think? I think being able to build 89, 30 second drones on the map at a time would be a really interesting way of doing harassment on your enemy's potential expansions. You could yeah, mine you them out before they even got to build a nexus there. There it is. I mean, you could... In the, you know, I'm gonna mute the game because the, the, the tempests are really loud. Uh, um, they actually are. Yeah, I unfortunately don't have the benefit of being able to do that. I mean, well, I mean, I could, honestly. I don't think you'd really miss anything. Well, I... I used to have a... Hundreds of gateways. All right, Grandpa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look at that. 276 creep tumors. What? I mean, that, that's just a silly amount of everything. And in this game, that's a healthy number. Yeah. That actually seems reasonable in our minds right now. Creep currently covers the entire map. There is creep... Everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. Man. Well, this has been a thing. So, I mean, do you need to, like, get dinner? I'm gonna have to try and push the res back, but first, what I want to do is replace the music of the game, because I'm quite frankly getting sick of it. Oh, I think that's a really interesting choice. Yeah. I'm going to replace it with hmm, some smooth jazz. Ooh. You know, I, I'm increasingly a fan of jazz. Mm. I've turned the sound I, off because, quite frankly, I've had enough of it. So, yeah, I'll listen I to mean, some smooth jazz. Ooh. It's kind of nice. Hmm. I think it's probably for the best at this point. Slowly. The Tempest arcs its graceful way across the path of a spore crawler, taking mild damage to its shields. But you know what? The captain don't care. He's relaxed. He's chilled out. Yeah. Snoot, resting easy. Vipers coming in. They're gonna do a little yoinkatron. But you know what? Titan says it's okay to die. Everybody dies. Titan is gonna target fire. It's Hatch vs. Transfuse, and I'll give you three guesses as to who won. Snoot is not remotely worried. Snoot has had an income of less than a few hundred for the entire game. His income right now, no income. And you know what? That's because yeah. mo money, mo problems. That's true. Snoot got no problems in the world right now. Not a single worry, not a single fear. You will not see an expo here. I needn't mine, I needn't try. I'll just shoot down everything out of the sky. I have a queen. I have my friends. I have vipers that can abduct to no end. I'll pull a tempest. I'll pull a void ray. I'll do whatever I want. Snoot three O's uh, for Norway. That was impressive. Very oh, impressive. Uh Thank you. I mean, uh, I have a particular set of skills. <laughs> Do those skills make <laughs> you a nightmare for people like me? <laughs> I have I mean, to ask. I mean, this is a good game, Jonathan Bain. Yes. <sighs> Absolutely. 154 supply to 68, and we get a little bit of swing on there. Yeah. That's what we like to hear. Oh. The Broodlords have hit the Expo on the left. In the Units Lost tab, it's a lot to a little. Hmm. 115,000 resources to 43,000. You know what? Titan keeping it cool throughout of this. It's a cool cat. Yeah. Still yeah. mining. This is where I really want his mother to walk in and say, Titan, you've been reckless with your money. <laughs> <laughs> you Titan. should learn to save. 
Why can't you be more responsible with your savings account? And look at this. Oh. Unupgraded Broodlords versus plus three Nexus shields mean the Nexus never dies. Ah, oh. now there's a counterattack at the base of no mining up in the north.